Hello everybody, Trevor Master here and welcome back to the, the Challenge Grand Prix in Orlando at K1 Speed. And this is part of my real life racing series, so if you wanted to go ahead and see more of those videos back in a playlist, feel free to click a link in the description below. And if you wanted to go ahead and see any more racing like this, feel free to subscribe and click that notification bell to see when I, the next upload is. But anyways, we're going to get right into this whole racing big night. Right, so this is the qualifying lap that I'll be doing for the actually the qualifying session, excuse me, that we that we have to do right here. It's, so I had a pretty decent card out here. Number sixteen was a was a pretty pretty good card. I actually not so sure if I mentioned it in the last video, but carts tended to vary in terms of what kind of lap time you do. It, they try to keep them all within a second of each other. However, kind of like we had like nearly 14 or 15 people in this big night. So um, we I think there was a lot more variation this time around. There might have been a 1.5, maybe even two if, if it was really bad. But it, it wasn't really too much to worry about because I luckily got into one of the faster cards for the session. It doesn't look like it right now because I'm getting into the 27s. But they haven't sped us all the way up yet. They haven't put us all on the fastest speed available. So we can put in those quicker lap times. So what I normally do is, since we're kind of running on speed three, just kind of not really spending any fast lap times, I'll just use that time to get the tires warmed up, keep, get some energy into them, so that way when we get out into this, the next few laps, we'll be getting ready to go. So yeah, I actually feel very good in this cart. The cart was like very good in a straight line, but like it had like, like when you, t I don't know if you noticed it, but like when I turned in, it was not going to do it. It was it was just like you'll turn and you're gonna I was like when I'm what am I gonna you know bite into the corner that's basically what, I, what my cart was doing for a lot of that time but it was still a very quick cart so I just basically went forward just try to hammer out as fast as laps as possible and I'll um yeah I'll let you guys uh, go ahead and see the results from here and I'll talk to you guys again when we uh, get ready for the start of the race
I also forgot to mention this. Apparently, um, when I went to look back into the lap sheets and all the feedback we've had, apparently some of my uh, this final lap got deleted. So, um, yeah, the final lap that I had going um, didn't really count anyway. But um, I went ahead and just kind of added a little timer here so I can get an idea of what the lap time was. I can just add it on to here. And uh, it was a 25-720. It's probably the closest I can get to. It didn't, like, beat my, like, PB at all. But that's definitely kind of a concern on my part, because I was worried about that, uh, um, basically, um, hurting my, uh, chances at, uh, beating my overall. But, because I was like, wow, my last lap was not quicker than the previous one. Because it felt quicker. It, because it was. It just didn't, um, appear that way. But anyways, here we had, we had the start of the race, and, um, I actually got up into second. We had a really good start from third. And, uh, it's actually a pretty good start. I... I get, keep getting battered in the back here, uh, and eventually, um, Dupree just dives it on the inside and just takes the position. I'll just get a little bit of collisions there, but, um, in all fairness, you kind of bumped me forward. I, I honestly, uh, thought that was a bit rough on my, on his parts, but that's yeah, whatever. Rubin's racing, I guess, so we just let it go on. So, basically, what we have for this entire race, this is, um, basically the bow situation here. I'm in third. And I'm in a cart that is definitely not a third place cart. It's definitely one of the slower carts in the uh, in the A main. I didn't actually tell you this, but um, we had since we had like 14 people, they only really allow like 12 people on the track. So we split the uh, the final uh, finale, like the actual main race, into two sections: the lower half and the top half. I was in the top half, fighting for um, just fighting for the, the most points you can get, but. Yeah, it's it turns out pretty well. Um, I'm actually uh, in a slower cart than what I'm in third place is actually showing. The person behind me though is in actually I'll tell you guys the cart number. It was number one, which is actually one of the fastest carts actually on the track. So I had a really tough uh, task at hand, and I'll actually let, let the video play for itself. But the scenario is I have to defend third, while fourth is right on is basically right on my butt just. Just trying to find a way to get around me, and at the same time, fifth is getting close to getting onto his butt. But he doesn't want to overtake him because he knows if he tries to fight him, I'll get away. But um, and he knows um, number one's in a faster car, so if he did that, that, he would have to be defending from him, and it would just basically lock me up into third. So he didn't want to fight him. And then the same thing eventually kind of happened to fifth place, where fifth place caught up to all of that. So basically, I was becoming a train. I was basically causing a pain train, basically where. No one could make any sort of moves because one person made a move, uh, yep, the person behind would attack him again. So, basically, all aboard the trumpet train, boys. Here we go. <laughs> That's basically the summary of what I've had to do in this race. And I'll go ahead and uh, just let that play out for you guys. But yeah, I'll just let this uh, play out and uh, and I'll uh, come back here and show you guys the championship results when uh, this race is over. And yeah, see you guys there.
All right, so I completely forgot about this in uh, post-editing. So um, we actually had a caution here because um, one of the guys uh, that was in last place had a cart that was um, very slow, way off the pace, and he was about to get lapped. So he was he was kind of like thinking there was no point in uh, just continuing on, so he just kind of pulled over to the the um, pit entry, and they just basically said, he basically said, nah, just take me out because it's not, wor it's not worth keep going and burning mileage. So he just said, all right, we'll just go ahead and do that. And they... They said, hey, if you don't want to be out there, fair enough. It, that's basically what happened. So they just kept it that way. And yeah, that's basically kind of cooled down my situation. I'm kind of glad that happened because that kind of gave me a reset and be able to defend for like the last few laps for third place on the po and final podium position. So it, it actually that caution flag probably came out probably the best time for me so I can reset and get myself ready. Anyways, I'll go ahead and continue to let this play out. All right, so after that race, uh, it's actually looking pretty interesting in the championship. We still got a long way until the end of the season, though. Like, we've only had two races, but we have Chris in first with 27, myself in second with 25, David Dupree's in uh, with 24 points, Keith Morgan's got 23, and, and Steven Davis is back there in a cup in a fifth place with 19 points. The top five looks pretty close. Um, fourth and four, fourth all the way up to first, though, it looks very close. We're all spreaded by only four points, basically. Uh, is that right? Four points? There's a four point gap, but um, I think there's like six points. Uh, actually, no, five points covering the entire top four. But yeah, every anything can happen for the entire season. But for the for the quarter, that's the pretty crucial one here because. Every quarter of the year, which basically means every three months, so like, you know, the first one, two, three, so you have the first three, next three, next three, and the next three, the winner in each quarter, like the person that has the most points, will get a GoPro, which for me, that would be kind of nice because I'm kind of using a knockoff GoPro at the moment, but it's not like the end of the world if I don't get it or anything, so it's like, it's kind of cool, but anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, Please subscribe if you want to see future videos and click that notification bell when you want to know whenever I upload another video. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.